This is Brad with Ryaclass and today I'm going to show you how to measure for armorplast. This is a typical storefront with three sections and I'll just zoom in here to show you how we map out the storefront before we measure. We're going to do the whole building this way, starting at the top, working our way down from top to bottom, left to right. You can see we've got one, two, and then we go back up to the top, three, four, five, back up to the top, six, seven, and so forth. This is very important because when you receive your kit, if you ordered it in kit form, it's going to be labeled. The framing and the panels will be labeled according to this map. So this is the most important part and this is where we start. Let's get on to the overall window measuring process. It's imperative that you measure every single window you're going to be installing on. Even though they look similar, they may be slightly different and that will give you problems later on. So measure every single window. These forms are available through Riot Glass. If you don't have them already, just let us know and we'll email them to you right away. We have them for both doors and for windows, and it's got all the inputs that we're gonna need from you. This, in addition to the photo with the map of the location of the windows, are crucial to making sure your order is correct. There are two types of armor plast framing, surface mount and full frame mount. If your existing storefront framing is less than one and a half inches deep, you're gonna to need to use the surface mount armor plast. We use this on both very shallow framing and also on doors. You can see this is a door cutaway. There's the door stop. Here's the door frame. Here's our armor plast frame and here's the armor plast panel. And it just sits on the surface, not inside the frame. That's the surface mount. In this drawing, you can see that the armor plast panel would be sitting directly on top of the door or window frame on the outside edge of the frame. Then we place the wedge on top of the armor plast panel and screw the two both into the existing window or door frame. The cap just covers up the fasteners and the edge of the armor plast panel for a finished and virtually invisible look. For a center mount frame like this, we measure from the glass all the way to the outside edge. And you can see that that is well over an inch and a half. So we would use the full frame mount on window framing like this. And the way it works is it's got a base and it sits right inside the pocket there. We'll show you how to mount this in the installation video. We're just setting it in here for demonstration purposes. So in this drawing, you can see the base gets screwed into the existing frame as it's sitting right inside the frame. Then we would add the panel, the armor plast panel, which is a quarter inch thick. You can see the gap right there where it goes. Then the wedge is placed on top of the panel and it is screwed into the base. Then the cap covers up everything for a finished and virtually invisible look. Armor plast framing is available in bronze and in clear anodized. So please mark that on the form as well. Measuring for surface mount and full frame mount are both done exactly the same way to the 16th of an inch to the inside of the frame, not to the gasket, but to the inside of the frame, frame to frame, side to side in two places, down at the bottom and up again at the top because sometimes windows are out of plumb. Be sure to write down each measurement as you go to avoid costly mismeasures. Repeat the process on the vertical mullions, making sure to measure to the 16th of an inch. We also need to get one measurement of the vertical and horizontal window mullion framing. In this case, we're an inch and 11 sixteenths. We do measure down to the 16th of an inch. Above doors, we often see this transom window that has a stop like this. You want to measure all the way to the outside frame. If you measure just to the stop and we're doing a full frame mount, your panel is going to end up being too short. Now the transom window stop is different than what you see here, which is the door stop. So I don't want to confuse that issue. We'll show you how to measure a door in the next video called how to measure a door for armor plast. If you don't have any doors, you're now ready to upload your photos and forms to Dropbox. If you do have doors, proceed to the next video to learn how to measure a door for armor plast.